I think one of the biggest misconceptions in the rise of kingdoms community is that the attack stat is somehow a bad stat to have for a while now we've known that point for point typically it's better to focus on getting more health stats and then probably defense stats and then at the very end attack stats but that's sort of a gross oversimplification of how the damage formula actually works in rise of kingdoms so while yes in general most of the time you probably want to focus on getting more health stats than attack stats that's not always the best choice now today one thing that i want to cover is the difference between the special talent on the sakura fubuki versus the special talent on the gatekeeper shield i think that this is a tried and true example of health versus attack right because most players and i've said this in videos as well that the health on the gatekeeper shield even though with the talent it's only 10.5 percent is still better and more valuable than the 17 percent attack on the talented sakura fubuki and in most instances i would say that this is true but in some instances this isn't true and one of the difficult things about testing this theory is that you have to have a safe and fair place to actually do testing against another player who also has similar equipment commanders and all these other things that match up with your account they have to have similar maybe armaments and city skins and equipment with iconics or maybe no iconics there's a lot of moving pieces in rise of kingdoms and because so much of your account is rng based like do you have a talent on your hope cloak is you might have it if you're lucky but most people don't right so while there's been great testing done in the past by other content creators today i wanted to actually take a look at the rok battle simulator this is a program that i've been using in recent videos ever since i discovered it because so far it's turned out to be really accurate it seems like the formula is pretty much spot on and it does emulate all the different talents it emulates all the different gear and skills and whether you're on the map versus off the map there's a ton of things that this program does and so far we've used this program on the channel to test a couple of different commander pairings we've used it to test Zhuge Liang we've used it to test Dido we've used it to test the Caesar relic and so now I wanted to use this program to see if I can test the differences in equipment with everything else exactly the same of course that's not going to be how things actually are in the game sometimes you'll be fighting a player that's better than you sometimes you'll be fighting a player that's worse than you but that's completely out of your control so what i wanted to do here was sort of a test tube study how will the sakura fubuki talented versus nevsky joan perform compared to the gatekeeper shield with the talent up against the same exact nevsky joan now i'm going to show you the results of these tests in this video i ran i think 60 different tests in this video so it took me over two hours to get all these results if you appreciate that time and effort then go ahead and drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton i really have been sitting here at this computer for hours today doing these tests so it means a lot it helps out the channel and of course consider subscribing if you want more rise of kingdoms content like this and of course what's going on guys cheers okay so i ran these tests in a few different scenarios the first scenario was that it was Juan Scipio versus Nevsky Joan both of which are the Ottoman Empire civilization with a five percent skill damage bonus because a lot of players do use Twilight Falls as their city skin both armies have a 10 percent defense item they also have three attack stats from Iconics they have six defense stats from Iconics and 12 health stats from Iconics the way that I arrived at these numbers is that obviously there are two pieces that give you attack base stats one of which is the weapon and since in this case the weapon is not legendary it can't possibly have an iconic crystal and therefore uh it would be impossible to have this at six then of course there are two pieces that give you defense so that would be six and then there's four pieces that give you health including the accessories and that's how i arrived at that number both of these armies are both vip 17 to 18 there is no all damage bonus this is the first scenario the second scenario that i ran this test in is with 37 percent extra attack and 10 percent extra defense for both armies and the reason that i did that is because that is if you had max tech in kvk right you would have the all damage bonus you would have a bunch of attack stats and that is basically how i ran the second portion of this test and the reason that i chose guan cpo is because even though we have commanders like sargon Tarek, and all these others i still feel like guan cpo is probably one of the most common and is still one of the most powerful infantry pairs so i feel like we would get a pretty good accurate reading of how this might apply to you somebody who's watching because i think a lot of players actually use this combo and again i throw it up against a nevsky joan because 
Nevsky Joan is one of the most popular and most powerful late game open field commander pairs that you might see. So I wanted it to be pretty realistic with what you might be able to expect. You can see the talent builds down here in the bottom. These do not change throughout the entirety of the video. And then later I do a different pairing with Guan Yu and that actually changes the results entirely. Okay. So first thing we have to do is pull up the stats. Okay. I could go through all the different battle reports. I did screenshot, I think like 90% of them. Um, I do have them all saved here, but I think that would be a super boring video. If I just went through and read all of the battle reports, because I did 12 for this scenario, 12 for the other identical crystal tech scenario. And then I did 12 more with the shield, 12 more with crystal tech with the shield. And then I did 12 more with the other pair that's not using Guan Yu. Okay. So again, 60 battle reports. I don't think you want to sit through all that. What I did was I averaged this out. Okay. So as you can see here, this was using Sakura Fubuki without KVK tech, without crystal technology. Okay. So this is basically be like in home kingdom or early KVK. We see on average that the Guan Yu CPO had about 25,145 severely wounded units. The remaining number of units was 8,189. That's average across all 12 fights here. Okay. Uh, we see for the Nevsky, the average amount of severely wounded units was 23,000 and the amount of units that remain is 18,000. So if we take a look here on average, Guan Yu won five times, Nevsky won seven times. So here we could say the Nevsky is outperforming. Obviously the amount of units remaining is significantly higher, more than double. And the amount of seven wounds is pretty much the same. Okay. So next I ran the exact same test 12 more times, except I replaced the talented soccer of Fubuki with the talented gatekeeper shield. And here you'll see that the average number of sev wounds for guan was 25,606, which from a statistics perspective is essentially identical okay if you ran these tests a, a million times i think it would come out to be about the same as far as units remaining guan yu had on average 5,005, which is about 3,000 lower okay so guan did perform a little bit worse here we see the nevsky had on average 22,799 severely wounded units and the units remaining was 20,087. So slightly higher units remaining for the Nevsky. So what we can learn here is that without crystal technology, uh, the Guan Yu performed slightly better with the soccer of Fubuki, considering with the shield, he had fewer units remaining on average and Nevsky had more units remaining on average with the severely wounded units on both sides remaining pretty much the same. It fluctuated a little bit, but it wasn't anything really significant. Now, while we do see a difference in these 12 results versus the other 12 results, there is, again, there's a lot of randomness in talent procs in skill procs and things of that nature. You know, we are using the, the ring of doom. We are using the horn of fury, right? So there's a lot of things that come into play here to get a even better estimate. You'd have to run this test, you know, 500 times or something like that, which ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. But I would say in general, uh, what seems to be the case is that in your home kingdom without any KBK tech, uh, these results are pretty close. Okay. Obviously the soccer Fubuki performed slightly better, but when you look at two important factors, something really starts to stand out. Okay. First of all, remember the severely wounded on both sides were the same. The important thing to remember here is that the gatekeeper shield is a blue item. It costs 2 million to forge. And if we take a look at the soccer Fubuki, this is a purple item. It costs 5 million to forge. And the differences in material requirement here is absolutely insane. Okay. It is significantly more materials and it's more than double the gold cost to forge the soccer Fubuki. But not only that, if you take a look at refining, unfortunately, I don't have either of these items to refine because both of mine are talented already, and I'm not going to waste the materials just for this video, but you can see here that it costs more gold to refine a purple piece than even an accessory in the blue slot. And for those of you that don't know, typically accessories cost a little bit more. Uh, and even for some reason, the force guardian set costs slightly more than, uh, like regular items. So I don't really know what's going on there. This is literally a gathering set. It makes no sense. But regardless, not only does the forging of the piece of the soccer Fubuki cost more than the gatekeeper shield, but refining it to get that talent every step of the way is going to cost you more gold as well. And gold is really hard to get your hands on sometimes in rise of kingdoms. I mean, just look at me, your boy is broke over here. All right. So in a world where both pieces are getting about the same number of sev wounds for both sides and the amount of units remaining is only slightly increased for the losing side mind you, uh, it's really not worth it to craft the soccer Fubuki. It is technically 
slightly better on the units remaining perspective but for the uh, for the difference in cost i just don't really see the point you might as well save all those purple materials to put towards something else uh if you notice the amount of purple materials it costs for a weapon is really high compared to something like gloves or boots or something like that i mean if you look here okay this is a hundred purple materials and if you look at like a legendary legendary gloves here okay navar's control this is 40 legendary materials okay so 100 purples is equivalent to 25 legendaries it costs 25 legendary materials to craft the sakura fubuki whereas you could have used those 25 legendary materials towards an actual legendary piece that can get an iconic crystal okay and when you compare that cost to the cost of the gatekeeper shield this is less than six legendary material equivalents okay so it is significantly more expensive for the weapon and for the very minor difference in the results that we see from this testing it's not worth it okay but the story doesn't end there because again i wanted to test this in the kvk scenario as well because that's when you're mainly going to be fighting is when you have kvk tech okay so this is the result of the exact same test except with 37 percent extra attack and 10 percent all damage for both sides so it's still even on both sides and here we can see that the average number of sev wounds for guan yu was 24,291 and 10.4k remaining we see 24,153 sev wounds on average for nevsky with 11,300 remaining okay so if we compare that to the home kingdom results we'll see that you know the win loss here was about 50 50. okay if you use the sword in kvk with max crystal tech which i mean i don't know who's maxing crystal tech and they're still using purple equipment but if that's the case this does benefit the guan yu slightly okay the ratios here are a little bit better you have more units remaining on average with a similar number of sev wounds for both sides and on average nevsky has fewer units remaining okay so in kvk the sword performs better then not in kvk so now we have to compare this to how it performs compared to the shield right because that's what really matters here and we actually get almost the same results as we did in the home kingdom so we see 24,998 sev wounds left for guan yu with 7k remaining 23.3k sevs for nevsky with 16k remaining so once again the sev wounds on both sides in kvk or with max crystal tech is basically the same and the only difference here is units remaining so the sword does perform the soccer fubuki performs slightly better when it comes to a units remaining perspective but that's pretty much it and again based on the number of materials to forge it and the amount of gold to refine it it's just way too expensive so here we can see that for one is the soccer fubuki bad no actually it performs slightly better than the gatekeeper shield is the sakura fubuki worth it no i don't think so at least not for this commander pairing which is a very common pairing guan yu cpo very common but not the only pairing that people use with infantry there are other commanders out there so here what i wanted to do is test with another commander pairing that i think might have different results so i thought to myself okay what is a commander pairing that a free to play or low spender might find themselves using in kvk if they are in infantry main that is just now entering in a season of conquest or kvk3 for that matter uh i guess kvk3 doesn't have crystal tech but you get the point point. and the commander pair that i landed on was scipio prime with mehmed secondary okay i think that this is a pretty common commander pairing i think it's a very good commander pairing it's a very reasonable one to expect players to use considering the fact that mehmed is somebody you can get free to play five five one one and he's pretty much good to go and his relic is very very good which is something that free to play and low spenders are going to probably rely on more heavily than a pay to win or a well or somebody who's been playing for a long time because here you get 30 percent more health and 10 percent extra skill damage so i thought okay if we use the sepia with mehmed will it still be the case that the soccer fubuki is performing approximately the same as the gatekeeper shield now the other thing that i did for this portion of the test is that instead of doing a home kingdom versus kvk what i did was sort of a mix of the two what i said was okay these free to play players will probably have an additional 20 percent of attack i i just assume that based on some small crystal tech investment maybe you have some armaments with extra attack on it you'll probably have some more attack than you would normally have 
and I did 0% all damage because you have to go all the way to the end of the crystal tech to get there. So I figured, okay, 20% bonus attack just from some investment in KVK tech is probably a reasonable place for them to land. And of course, I did the same thing for the Nevsky Jones so that way we can keep things even. Now, unfortunately, one of the realities of this testing program is that uh, I can't do a 5511 med, so I was forced to use an expertise med, which means it's going to be slightly more powerful than normal. It'll have more troops, most likely, than you will have, unless you have a 5515, which of course is excellent. But I think, all things considered, this is a pretty fair test for what would be a free to play or low spender with just some amount of crystal technology. And let's take a look at the results, okay? Here we have a smaller sample size, but I think that still paints the, the results pretty clearly. Okay. Uh, the CPO, we did six rounds with the shield and six rounds with the sword. Okay. For the shield on average with the 20% of attack. Okay. We had 23,850 sev wounds for the CPO med and 27,900 troops remaining on average. Uh, the Nevsky typically had about 26,908 severely wounded units uh and none remaining so in all these results the Scipio Mehmed beat the Nevsky Joan uh, I think that's pretty much expected for this you know obviously it's countering it and it's tanky it's bringing more troops right so I think that makes sense and it also counters it um but when we compare it to the results for the sword we see a pretty different outcome so we see that the average number of severely wounded units went down slightly not anything too significant there honestly uh for the CPO Mehmed uh, but the number of remaining troops was significantly higher with the Sakura Fubuki. Okay. That is really interesting. So here we have on average 42,234 units remaining, uh, and the Nevsky Sev wounds went up slightly here. Okay. But obviously they still lost in general. So what we can conclude from this is that with the CPO Mehmed, as long as you have the double relic on Mehmed and possibly even single relic Mehmed. Uh, it is actually better to use the Sakura Fubuki with the talent. And I think that when you look at these two numbers here, again, this is a smaller sample size than the previous tests, but I think the disparity here is pretty significant. I mean, it's, it's getting much better troop remaining results. And my theory for this is the same theory that I had months ago, possibly a year ago when I made my last, uh, equipment guide for rise of kingdoms. And my theory was that if you had like over 40% of infantry health, it's probably better to go for the soccer Fubuki. And that is something that I think originally I heard from with gaming a long time ago when he was talking about, uh, Constantine, which, you know, obviously Constantine's still in the game, but that's not really a very relevant, uh, topic these days. However, in sunset Canyon, that's something you might want to consider. A lot of players use, use Constantine in sunset Canyon. You probably want to put a soccer Fubuki on him and not your shield. That's a little tip there, a little bonus tip. But what I found is that, um, that theory holds true to this day. Okay. So what we see with Scipio is that he has 20% infantry health and the Mehmed obviously has the 30% infantry health from his relic here, the double relic. Um, so even if he only has one, it's still 20%, that's 40% total health. Uh, so I think that if you're still using a shield with just one relic upgrade, um, it's probably okay. Uh, the double upgrade is, is probably where you really want to consider using the Sakura Fubuki for this army. Uh, and I think that again, the amount of damage that you do, um, it's because you're trading off a tanky stat for a damage stat. What happens here is that you're dealing more damage. And so the battle actually ends quicker, right? So that's why the sev wounds are about the same, regardless, even though you still have more units remaining. And you can take this theory and extrapolate it out to any other commander pair that might have more than 40% bonus infantry health. Right. Uh, and this also is the case when, you know, we, we didn't even take into account the fact that you could have 5% infantry health on your city skin instead of the 5% skill damage. Right. Um, now I have the Atlanta skin here. So for me, I would say in most scenarios, it's actually probably better for my CPO army to be using a soccer Fubuki because I'm gaining extra healthier that I wouldn't normally be getting. Now, of course, if I sw switch over to the twilight falls, that all changes, but for players that are using Zenobia for a garrison, which if you're garrisoning, you probably shouldn't be using purples or blues anyway, but let's say, you know, she's on your wall and you're what, for whatever reason, or let's say it's your first ever season of conquest and you're like a backup garrison player or something like that. And you happen to have Zenobia for whatever reason you invested in her. 
um you know for those players in that niche scenario i would say use a soccer fubuki on zenobia especially if you're pairing her with uh somebody like flavius because he has some extra health here on on his kits so yeah i would say that you know for most for most armies you still probably would rather use the gatekeeper shield because it's so much cheaper and especially we saw for the guanyu cpo but if you do something like cpo with a fully expertise charles martel for example who has 20 percent extra health a Scipio Martel probably would rather use the Soccer Fubuki. Or if you used a Martel Mehmed for some reason, uh, you might want to consider the Soccer Fubuki there as well. Scipio with Constantine, if you were doing some sort of like hybrid damage supportive march, uh, then you would obviously want to use the Soccer Fubuki there. Uh, I don't, that's obviously a very rare and niche use case. Most players are never going to do that. But just to give you guys some more examples of commander pairings that you might actually want to use the soccer fubuki again in most scenarios you're still going to prefer the gatekeeper shield but the one big pair that i think most players know and may have even used at this point is sepia with mehmed definitely use the soccer fubuki with the talent here it's you're just going to have more units remaining it's going to be better for you and this theory is something that we've known for a long time but actually being able to put it through the rock battle simulator and see similar results to what we would expect is good that means that we're still operating within the realm of reality when we're making these assumptions about the soccer fubuki versus the shield or whether you're talking about attack versus health uh, i think it's important to note that there are some scenarios where attack is actually going to perform better right so keep that in mind but this also lends a little bit more credibility to the rock battle simulator i think a lot of players have asked me you know why am i using the simulator instead of running regu running regular tests and again for one running real tests in real time takes even longer than doing this right um it also takes time to coordinate with other players you have to make sure they have similar stuff as you it also fills your hospital unless you're doing it in like a arco osiris right where you that you know the hospitals are free and also because you know with this program it seems to be using the actual battle formula that we see in rise of kingdom so i really don't see any downsides to doing this and it gives us a way to get a very consistent results for these things with controlling every last detail that is possible now is the program perfect of course not okay of course not there's constantly bugs that are being found i found a handful of bugs myself reported them to the developer and he fixed them pretty much right away which has been shocking and crazy if you want to use the rock battle simulator i'm not sponsored by them i don't make any money off of this uh this is not my program i'm not affiliated with them at all but if you think it's interesting and you feel like paying for it uh, there will be a link to their discord down below that is uh my two cents on the soccer fubuki versus gatekeeper shield if you have a ton of health go soccer fubuki and all those other scenarios go get Kipper shield and when we start to talk about the legendary equipment then of course the legendary equipment is better than both of those options um I think that you know obviously it's so much more expensive that it's like you know the last thing you should replace is your gatekeeper shield for either the shield of the eternal empire not a great choice or the hammer of the sun and moon this is more meta however this will give you the uh, march speed here for infantry so it's a trade-off obviously if you're garrison or rally lead you would rather the sun hammer of sun and moon but that is all uh late game well things that nobody really cares about right i went for the hammer just because it's badass and i could say for sure certainly this is better no matter what because it's so much more uh infantry attack and if i got the crit on there i would have lost my mind that i really was gambling with this one i really just wanted to crit it but i didn't whatever anyway guys if you found this video useful or informative drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts on the gatekeeper shield versus the soccer fubuki hopefully this you know if you crafted the soccer fubuki i don't you shouldn't feel bad about it because it is technically better just you know if you're a new player you could save those materials for most things and that's that with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace